What's going on, Charles Bodston? And today we're gonna to be talking about what I judge about others, all right? So obviously this is not as important of a subject or maybe it might be a little controversial, but I see people and I don't judge the way they look, the way they act. I, I judge, not them, I judge the actions. So here's an example. I, I gave who I wanted to be, you know, and I took a little bit of someone. So Grant Cardone, he's more flashy than I want to be, but I love the relationship and the dynamic he has with his wife. So I say, I look at Grant, I like the guy, he's not doing anything illegal or immoral or unethical, and I say, that's the type of relationship I want. So I judge, the not the person, but the results. I judge the outcome that comes from their life, okay? A Ty Lopez. I can't really relate to anything that he does because I'm not gonna ask you guys for all this money because I wanna actually focus on real estate, okay? So when it comes to someone like Ty Lopez, he leverages his audience. Nothing wrong with it. I judge it in, that's not me, okay? But I love the amount of information, the people that he's been bringing on. Grant Cardone, relationships, Ty Lopez, Jordan Peterson, his oration ability to actually take a complex idea and package it so someone can actually understand it, that's something that I look at them and I'm like, that's what I want, okay? So it's, it's not judging the person and looking at it good or bad. I just say, that's what I want to take away from that person. Gary Vaynerchuk, love his hustle. Tony Robbins, love his legacy. So I look at these and, and his impact is so monumental. I look at it not in a judgment as in a bad, but I say, that's one thing that I want to look at that person. That's what I really focus on. So why does that matter? You got a well-rounded, have it all. You know, T. T. Harv Eckert, highly recommend reading his book. I think it's called Millionaire Mindset. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong. T. Harv Eckert has an amazing book. Uh, the Millionaire, yeah, Millionaire Mindset, whatever. But he has a line in there. He says, I live an and li lifestyle, okay? I want a incredible wife and a beautiful re relationship with my kids and a great business and a great body. He doesn't have oh, great business or great kids, business or a great body. He says, I want an and mindset. And that's really what it comes down to is, what do I judge about this person? Take this, take that, take that. For me, you may not like uh, how aggressive I am or how boisterous or I'm just making up words now or whatever. Take some things from me that are good and then take something from someone else. Take something from someone else. Because we're all getting, as they say in the subtle art of not giving a fuck, we're just getting a little less wrong over time, okay? We're just getting a little bit better over time. So have an awesome day. Take things from people. And, and I'll give you this last example is there's a guy at the gym, all right? He doesn't really have a great relationship with his wife. He has all right relationship with his kids, but he makes a ton of money. He put all of his effort into making a ton of money, so he clearly has something, a security, deep insecurity that he's trying to live up to expectations of either his father or he didn't have a good childhood or whatever the case is. So I look at that and I say, I don't want to have that. I don't, I want to have a good relationship with my kids. It's awesome you go to the gym. I want to have an awesome relationship with my wife and still go to the gym. So that's how you look at people or that's how I look at people. Subscribe to the video, leave your comments below.